what's going on YouTube brother Tim I'm just doing a quick video about um, some of the things I've just been seeing and you know I did this whole YouTube thing is kind of get the word out is a word of warning I know some people get on uh, folks like me on their case where why you guys always talk about bad stuff happening why all this doom and gloom because it's happening and you know there need to be somebody that needs to be a watch person who needs to look out and say hey you know, I'm going to sound the alarm and let the people know that there's something going on here that you need to be aware of. I don't want anybody on my watch to get taken unaware. But there's this TV show on Nickelodeon, you know, and I have a two and a half year old son. He wants Nick Jr., but still, you have to be mindful of what your kids watching on TV. Uh, cartoons aren't even safe anymore. They have all kinds of cultic uh, overtone, uh, all these things on witchcraft, they won't call it witchcraft, but it basically is. But there's a show out called, uh, was it The House of Anubis or something like that on Nickelodeon? And I, and you know, y'all know me, I've been doing study on the occult and how I'm supposed to warn people by using the word of God and showing people who are in the occult, this is not what you want to be a part of. And this is what the Bible has to say about it. But I watched that show, and that show is loaded with occult overtones. I mean, it just goes from Egyptian gods, I mean, goodness, the name Anubis is in the title, you know, the Egyptian god of the dead, now, why in the world you want to watch something with his name in the title, and the whole eye of Horus, and everybody coming up their eye, and, you know, all that Illuminati stuff, but it goes beyond the Illuminati, it, it's a Satan, that's a, basically what it is, and this whole show is just basically to condition your kid's mind to say, hey, this stuff is not that bad, it's cool, and there's no harm in it. And so now the enemy wants to desensitize the viewers' uh, minds, basically, to say, like, this it's not a problem. That is like if I were to take, you know, a bottle of water, and you know it's a bottle of water, I'm holding it or whatever. I pour it out, and I put another liquid in its place that looks like water, but you don't know what it really is. And I say, hey, it's a bottle of water, why don't you drink it? And that could be a colorless poison, but you wouldn't know because you think, oh, there's no harm in it. It's just a bottle of water. And that's how it is with this occult thing. It doesn't just jump out of the, you know, the closet and just start, you know, doing all the scary Hollywood stuff. No, it comes in real calm. It's like, okay, you're intriguing. I want to check you out, see what you're about. And they start trying to teach you the things that are cold just to get you in there, just to reel you in a little bit. And before you know it, the thing will snatch you and it will snare you. And I got to tell all of you out there that, you know, if you see these shows like this, now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I grew up watching stuff like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and things like that, but I don't know. It just, when I watch it, of course I knew that wasn't the right thing to do. I mean, I'm a Christian. I've been a Christian since I was 10, but we have to be careful what we feed ourselves. And, you know, there's a lot of things in these type of shows. The more I learn about what God says about me, the less likely I want to follow Him anymore. You know, I used to be real deep in playing with Yu Gi Oh cards. And. You know, I see all the occultic overtones in that game, and I really don't care to play it anymore. So, I'm just giving this a warning that we got to be careful because Satan is really up in his game. He is really turning it up because he knows his time is short, and he's using any means necessary to get his point across and to draw people away from God. Now, some folks may say, well, they're not teaching you to worship Satan on this show. They're not teaching you. It doesn't, you don't have to worship Satan directly. To be a part of him, and he don't—he doesn't carry it away. As long as he keeps you from studying your Bible, if he keeps you away from praying and seeking to do God's will and stuff like that, he don't care what you do. As long as you don't get hooked up with God, as long as you don't establish that relationship between you and Jesus Christ, he doesn't care. You're gonna wind up in hell just the same. So what does he care about it? But I just want all of you to be warned that watch what you, you know, what's coming into your house. Watch what you're looking at. Watch what you're listening to. Because Satan, he wants to take this out. He wants your mind. He wants to get in your head, get in your thinking. And once he can get in your thinking, he can kind of control your actions. So it, this is a this is spiritual warfare. There's no time for slacking off in this thing. You have to be alert at all times. I mean, you, you can't take a vacation because Satan is not. Okay, I just hope this will help somebody. Be blessed. Bye.